Hello and welcome to the top of Red Bull Cerro Bayo here in Guanajuato as you can see it's amazing one of the best start points actually I don't know what they're doing with the start hut but I like this view man hell of a view I thought I would take you through the track all of the features I've done a bad job of documenting all our build because we've been quite busy but I've just finished testing the last of the big features and uh, yeah let's drop in so you start here same as last year again with the amazing view and you drop straight into this this is going to be terrifying to walk down but don't worry it's going to have ply on still jobs to do here oh wow that's scary the riding down it that's for sure Shh. into the first feature be able to hop in into this berm similar to last year but without a gap so hopefully you can carry more speed i haven't done this yet but maybe someone else will gap from the wood to the stairs i think you're going to be hauling then then we get into the first track change so here we are at first track change this is what we're calling the lily pad i mean honestly this one kept me up at night but it is better than i thought the landing there sticks to the end so it's not as big a gap we can't close the road yet but uh hey i tell you what let's show you some clips from testing this section now you drop from top to bottom in no time at all check it out Whoa, I got sketchy coming into the wall right then. So as you saw from those clips, it's called a lily pad for a reason. You land here, take off and go down there. The second drop's pretty big, but the landing's nice and wide and safe. So I really like this section and uh, yeah, I think everyone else will too. Super cool, down into that berm. This berm's mega high speed. I think we improved it from last year. It's like a really, really smooth radius. Obviously, we're going to fill that hole in. Hola. Buenas tardes. And then you come out of there. Obviously, we're going to close that door and move that cable. Lots of jobs still to do. Next up, we come into Gary's drop. This one's legendary from last year. Buenas tardes. Yeah, it, we've actually made it much the same. I think the route in is pretty cool. Come around this 90 degree bend here. All natural, nothing done there. Down this street, into the ladder, into the living room. Around here, it gets pretty narrow here naturally. This is obviously like a, a point where riders slow down. That's good, because they go out the window. You want to slow down if you go out the window, right? Here we are. Hold on. Make it obvious and helpful. Around the turn and off. It's not finished painting yet. We're also gonna tape all of this, but it's essentially the exact same drop, which was killer last year. Here's the video. Right, that's Gary's drop. Next up, you're into the famous stairs. None of it's been painted yet, but it still looks beautiful from last year. Come off this cheese wedge and things start to get really, really interesting. It's super high speed. We're gonna be turning on the stairs and heading into the containers can you see those so what became what was ridiculously fast last year and then slow should now be slowing up a bit here but carrying way more speed across the road stoked with this there's actually a line choice you can either go to the inside or to the outside i think the racing line might be on the outside i actually just tested went inside because i was a bit scared and then out from the light into the dark and over you come out one container, off this one, and the ramp's gonna be there. Check out the clip.
Here's a short uphill section that you might remember from last year. Hopefully we'll be carrying way more speed. Containers come all the way across the road and then you're gonna come buzzing up here into the next section that you might recognize again. Super excited about this track. I think I think this one's the most complete track we've built. Like it's got bits of everything and I really like how some bits have stayed the same and others have changed. Makes it super interesting. It's been fun to build, a lot to build. It seems like more this year than before, but it's good. Here are the wall rides. It's essentially the same setup as last year. Um, none of these ramps are branded yet, so they end up looking really pretty when they're done. But that's the wall ride. Check the clips. Vale. Hang on. Dropping. Okay, here's the next big change. I had to stop that clip so you didn't see too much. You come around this natural turn. This is super difficult. Might be actually one of the points which make or break a race run. All of these stones are all slippery. All of the concrete is grippy. And look at how many levels there are. I, uh, I'm no racer. I couldn't work out the line. I ended up hitting this edge here. But I think that might be about right. And it takes you into this arguably the best turn I think we've built. You come flying around there. We're building a landing that's like a, a little bit of a qualifier. We're doing that after lunch and I actually do still have to test it so I told you a lie. But the next section, this whole section, watch clips, it's cool, you'll like it. There's an angle from the bottom. What amazing art on the wall as well. Super cool. So then you fly into this. I guess it's another kind of lily pad. It's actually one of the most fun bits to ride. It looks cool from here as well. Nice. Then you're into the fast straight, which turns into Slavic stairs. Ah. Yay. Right, through this little Zoclo section. Bit of wood needs replacing there. And back. I think these streets look so cool. <laughs> Off these stairs. Into the Oxo turn. Okay, here we are in the final section. I just Blonk my wheel back down here and hop this. It's actually really cool, sets you up nicely. You kind of skim the curb and then we're into the ramps. These are so cool. We've, we've made them so they're like good race distance. So they're about eight meters, as you can see. Nice and slack. I always think ramps look really, really steep if you look at them from some angles. And then when you look from the side, actually, Mellow. Here's some clips from these two. Yeah. Okay, drop it. And the second one, it's like, don't look at it now because it looks absolutely crazy. That's not where it goes. I'll show you where it goes in the next clip. Right, that's it for my track walk. We're here in the Finnish arena, which is currently being transformed 
by Rebel Mexico crew ready for the live feed on the 23rd on Rebel TV and on YouTube, I believe. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for all the help from Phosphoro Productions and of course the BSI crew. Peace and love, bye. <laughs>